Well, Central Texas mother is on a new life mission after her son's death was linked to fentanyl. She wants to find out who supplied the deadly drug to her son, and she wants to raise awareness about its dangers. The state's growing fentanyl problem was also the focus for a group of Texas lawmakers today. KXAN's Tahara Rahman reports on possible solutions ahead. For my hero, my mother. Surrounded by his pictures, Sheila Osgood reads and rereads poems and letters from her son. I love and miss you. Wish I could kiss you, Mom. Her connection to Tyler, who died last year. It was hell. It's the worst day of my life. San Marcos police say his autopsy showed a lethal amount of fentanyl in Tyler's system, along with other drugs. His death was ruled an accidental mixed drug intoxication. You know they're going to make mistakes and, you know, they're going to learn from their mistakes, but you never think that they're going to learn six feet under. Osgood is convinced her son didn't know he took fentanyl. Syringe exchange services, fentanyl test strips, Opioid use screening. Tuesday, members of the Texas Health Committee heard about possible solutions to the growing fentanyl problem. We've got to change course. The Texas Medical Association says many people are getting fake pills to manage pain, and lawmakers need to loosen guidelines so that doctors can more easily prescribe them legitimate opioids. We're trying to save the innocent, the ones that have no idea that they're counterfeit and can, could kill them. Because they would never take it. They're not stupid. You know, they don't want to die. They also want more public awareness and education. That's me and Tyler at the beach. That's part of Osgood's new focus, and she's finding light along the way. Hey, Mom, how's it going? <laughs> In these letters that once made her sob. Now they give me inspiration. Now they make me happy. Tahirwa Rahman, KXAN News. The Texas Medical Association also advocates for lawmakers to expand access to naloxone, a drug that can save someone from overdosing on opioids. They also want to make fentanyl testing strips legal. Those can be used to test a drug or substance for any trace of fentanyl, but right now they are considered illegal in Texas.